Animal lovers around the world are mourning the death of another northern white rhinoceros. The last male of the species died yesterday, and now there are only two northern white rhinos alive. Our tenders reporter Jeff Lasky has been covering the San Diego Zoo's attempts to bring the species back to for the last three years. He was at the safari park today to get an update on the progress. It's a day animal scientists at the San Diego Zoo have been dreading. One of the last three northern white rhinos has died. Sudan was the last male. He'd been living under armed guard at a preserve in Kenya. We lose species every day, uh, and some are harder than others. Uh, this one is especially hard. The safari park's Randy Rikas went to visit Sudan last year when the rhino's health began fading. News of Sudan's death brought him to tears and anger toward the poachers who have driven the northern white to the edge of extinction. It's about what's there today and they really don't care. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll stop when all the rhinos are gone. Sudan's death once again points the world spotlight on the San Diego Zoo's ambitious, futuristic attempt to bring the northern white species back to life. There certainly is a lot of pressure, uh, the, that's no doubt. To bring the northern white rhino back, they're gonna have to rely on these southern white rhinos. They're basically genetic cousins, and right now all the attention here is on one rhino in particular. <laughs> This is Omani. It's possible she's pregnant, and that would be a major accomplishment. In 2015, I took you into the frozen zoo, where scientists are working to create an embryo from northern white reproductive material. They then use in vitro fertilization to put the embryo in one of the southern whites, using them as surrogate mothers. Last fall, I showed you an ultrasound as they studied the female's reproductive system. Well, they recently tried the in vitro process on Omani and are waiting to find out if she is in fact pregnant. If she is, they'll know that part of the project works, and hopefully she'll be able to birth a northern white sometime in the future. At the Safari Park, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. When that project began, they told 10 News they were projecting about a 10-year timeline. Three years in, they tell us they are still on schedule. That would mean the first northern white calf could be born in 2025.